Hello my darlings, welcome to a new vlog. Another day in isolation, um, but you guys seem to really enjoy my last vlog where I didn't really do that much to be honest, um, but your comments made me smile a lot and you said that you would like more vlogs, so your wish is my command. It is Tuesday today and it's actually the afternoon already. Today I have been having quite a productive morning. I have filmed my jewellery routine, which is something that had been so highly requested, and I also filmed a Q&A. So um, yeah, I had quite a productive morning, and I'm about to sit down and do some editing, but I did just have a DPD delivery, or DHL, DHL delivery of an and other stories selection of new pieces so I thought I would share them with you in fact the first thing I'm actually wearing now it is this jumper and it doesn't look as good in this camera clip as it does in real life I thought it would actually be easier to put you on a tripod than me try and clear the mess from the background of the video so this jumper was um in my and other stories haul and i'm always looking for things which i can wear around the house and be comfortable and yet still fairly chic and feel like myself so it's a really nice plain design um very comfortable and i like it with this collection of necklaces as well the next thing is this dress and i've just been looking for things which i can throw on and be really really comfortable and yet still feel like myself in so things like this i have been really on the lookout for it's got lots of smocking detail so it's quite stretchy and then you've got a really lovely kind of feminine frill detail down at the bottom which i think is very pretty and then these two pieces i'm not sure if i'll wear them together i might try them on together this gorgeous pink puff sleeve blouse i just love the silhouette of this it's quite cropped so i was looking for something high-waisted to wear it with i could wear it with one of my white satin skirts but then I saw this one with the belt around the waist, which I thought was quite a nice design detail, makes it a little bit more, I don't know, modern I guess, because then the skirt is ruffly, but I feel like I need to try these on. Okay, this is actually an adorable little combination. So not what I think of when I think of another stories. It's so much more feminine, but I'm really glad that they are moving in this direction. Disclaimer, I'm not wearing the right underwear for this outfit. You can see my bra poking out a little bit, but I have been wearing comfies for the last hour, so forgive me. Um, but the colour of this top is just gorgeous. I do really really like the belt on this skirt. I'm looking forward to trying different ways of styling it. I actually think this skirt could look really nice with knitwear. Something a little bit more plain on top as well. See it is really lovely. Almost like flamenco design. I haven't got anything like this in my wardrobe with the tiers of ruffles on the skirt in this kind of shiny material. It probably does need a little bit of a steam as well but yes this does feel like a very me outfit. Now let's try on the dress. This is exactly what I was after, just something really easy to throw on, super comfortable. Full disclosure, I have taken my bra off. It's just one of those, it almost feels like I'm wearing my nighty, but out and about. So as I mentioned, it is stretchy. You could probably wear it off the shoulder if you really wanted to. Little pockets, it's a really cute short length. I feel like this is a summer day dress, round the house dress. Obviously round the house is the only place we're wearing stuff at the moment. Um, but I'm imagining in summer if I have friends over for a barbecue or even just pottering around the house, I think this is a really really cute little design. I like how short it is as well, it feels a little bit more playful. But most importantly, it is very comfortable. I might even just leave this on for the rest of the afternoon, although it's starting to get a bit chilly. Um, so now I'm gonna put my jumper back on. But yeah, I just wanted to show you those few little pieces and they did come next day. So, um, and other stories are still doing their next day delivery. And I saw on the website that they have got a 100 day return policy, which is very good. And um, okay, I'm gonna get dressed again and then I will carry on chatting to you. Alrighty, so I'm downstairs now and I'm going to do some video editing. I thought I would show you how I do some of the um, kind of graphics on my videos. So today, 
So right now I'm going to edit my Q&A video. So I've got screenshots on my phone of the questions and I'm going to Photoshop them into an iPhone so that I can pop the iPhone and the screenshot on the screen when I read out the question. And I'm going to do this on a website called PicMonkey. Okay, so that was a bit of an epic fail, but I'm onto the next graphic now. So I'm going to show you how I do these. So I'm talking about this H&M dress in the video, even though I haven't received it yet. So what I'm going to do, this is within my PicMonkey hub. I know this video is not sponsored by PicMonkey. Um, this is really, really useful. So I have all of these graphics, which I use regularly, like my thumbnails. Um, that's the phone one I was just trying to do. My product imagery um, when I'm doing vlogs. This is my calendar and like text boxes and things like that. This is the one that I want to use right now. So I'm replacing the handbag with the dress from the H&M website. I literally just took a screenshot and I'm just going to adjust the image so that the boxes all line up and then I'm going to add a description. H&M peony floral dress and the price this is $34.99. And then it says down here, link below to shop. So then I'm going to export this because it's a PNG, which means um, kind of like a Photoshop file. It's going to have a clear background, which is great. And then I can just import this straight into iMovie. I'm probably one of the only YouTubers that still uses iMovie. It is literally the most basic software, but I just really can't be bothered to learn a whole new software. I've never really felt the need to get a final cut. You can do like filters and things on top of your videos, but I just don't feel the need to. So now when I'm talking about this H&M dress, it can appear on the screen. Mostly all I need to do is get rid of any bits where I'm not talking, or sometimes I'll take out some ums and things like that. Um, so it really is very easy when I'm doing my basic edits. bored in the house, yes I'm in the house bored. I find editing so boring after a while. I have been doing this video for an hour now and I've only got through 13 minutes of footage. I do keep getting distracted, um, but this kind of video where I'm literally just talking is quite boring to edit because I've just said all of these things, so re-watching myself say them again gets very boring indeed. Um, the only other things that I'm doing editing wise are adding some clips on My top. My editing buddy ho! Mummy can't sit on this chair for too long before little scruffy boys say hello to everybody. I think the best bits of my vlogs are the bits that include my two little tin tins. Can you see the screen, baby? Can you see yourself? It's normally only Dexy that recognises himself in the camera. Not Dicky. Um, okay, so apparently I've got two hours and 31 minutes left of footage to edit, but I think that includes the hyperlapses from my jewellery video, so hopefully it's not going to be that painful. At least another 22 minutes of footage from the Q&A. Am I boring you just even talking about it? You're growling at me. <laughs> So I'm going to continue with my <coughs> editing. Bored and a half and I'm in the house bored. Charlie's mum always sends me the rudest things on WhatsApp. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so true. <laughs> That's rude, isn't it, my dickie? Love my bunny. I um, have got this kind of like good morning, darlings. It is now the next day. It's Wednesday morning. Um, I've got straight into my workout clothing this morning because today I have my first ever kind of virtual blogging event, which is quite exciting. So GHD are working with Frame, um, and there's going to be an online Zoom dance class. So I've got my laptop set up in the garden. I think people are logging in now. So. This will be interesting, the first virtual blogger event.
doing another workout. Um, I decided that I wasn't out of breath enough, so I did one of Natalie's um, Instagram Live Pilates. She does them, I'll put her Instagram down below. Um, I've mentioned her in a previous vlog that she is a bodyism Pilates instructor, and she does Instagram Lives on her channel every day at six. Um, but then she makes them available for 24 hours afterwards. So I've been trying to do as many of those as possible. And I don't know if this is naughty or cheeky, sorry if you think it is, but I have been putting my screen record on um, so that if I don't have time to do the workout at that time or I wanna do it another time, then I've got the whole video saved on my phone. So I'm probably gonna do like a folder on my laptop of um, all these free workouts because they really are so good. But she did mention that she's going to be starting a membership on Friday. So I signed up to hear all about that because I would quite happily subscribe. They're just 25, 30 minute Pilates classes. Um, as you saw, I had a little bit of help from my babies, but it was good fun. Um, now I've come into the kitchen and I'm gonna make myself my breakfast smoothie, which I know you guys have seen so many times, but it is the tastiest smoothie in the world. Um, Charlie did manage to go to Sainsbury's yesterday very carefully, and we got some more almond butter. I've been having it without almond butter for the last few days, and it really is the magic ingredient this makes it taste so much better even if it's just half a tablespoonful um and then i see that he's also got some bananas and some of them are looking nice and brown i checked my instagram stories this morning and a few of you have already made my banana and oat muffins which is great so i might do another recipe within this vlog um because i haven't really got <laughs> much else to do today because i've done a workout and my hair is a bit grim now i'm not going to film any videos i've got some editing to do um but yeah i'm gonna make a breakfast smoothie and then maybe plan another recipe so again i know a lot of you will have seen this quite a few times before but just in case you haven't um these are the ingredients that i put in my delicious morning breakfast smoothie so i chop up either a whole banana or half a banana when we weren't able to go to the supermarkets at all i was kind of rationing and doing half a banana but i was chopping up the second half and popping it in one of my freezer bags this is very naughty i don't like using this kind of plastic bag i would recommend a stasher bag they are reusable so you're not using single-use plastic um, but Charlie is using both of mine at the moment, so I'm going to order a few more. And we did have a few of these Ziploc bags just in the um, just in the drawer, so I'm kind of using them up, but I am reusing them. So when we're able to get fresh berries, I put I obviously prepare the strawberries, cut them in half, take the tops off, um, and then in a separate bag raspberries, and sometimes I have blueberries as well. I'll just take a small handful of the berries in the smoothie with a banana. A tablespoon of almond butter or peanut butter. Obviously the more you put of this in, the better it'll taste, but the more unhealthy it will be. I put in maybe two teaspoons of chia seeds, a scoop of plant protein powder. This is the vanilla one from a company called Care Of. I collaborated with them last year and I've been buying this for maybe 18 months now. It's really, really good. And then I put in a non-dairy milk. You could use coconut milk, uh, you could use almond milk, oat milk, but I really like tiger nut milk. I think with the almond butter, it just gives it a really lovely nutty taste, which I really like. And then a good scoop of oats. And this just makes it feel a little bit more filling, a little bit more like an actual breakfast and gives it a really lovely consistency. And then as you'll see when I've finished it, I like to put a little bit of bee pollen on the top and some of this. This is from a company called Cunola. It's almond and vanilla, kind of like granola. I'm nearly at the bottom, so I will be making up my own um, concoction of this when I'm done. It's basically just puff quinoa, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, desiccated coconut, which to be honest, I'll leave out when I make my own version of this because I don't love coconut. Um, raw almonds, coconut oil, coconut palm, sugar, chia seeds, vanilla powder, cinnamon, and Himalayan pink salt. So you could definitely make your own um, pack of that up. So I'm going to whiz these all together in my trusty Thermomix. I just whiz them for about 40 seconds and then we're done. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't
Well, as you can see, I have got a soggy doggy. I think Dexy and Dicky were play fighting a little bit too hard earlier. Um, and he was bleeding. He was dripping bits of blood all on the floor. I think it might... Oh, look. Angel. But I don't actually know where the source of the bleeding is. But he's, as you can see, he's being very, very shy. He's not enjoying being put down on the floor with, with his brother right now. But he had blood all in his paws earlier, so I just took him for a little bath. Um, but the thing about my Dicky, he's quite a special little boy. He doesn't have the natural initiative like normal dogs. So, for example, a normal dog knows after they have a bath that they should shake and rub themselves on a on a towel. But Dicky doesn't naturally know anything. He doesn't. He wasn't really born with any intuition. He's very special, but luckily Dexter came upstairs and showed him how to rub himself on the towel, so that was good. But as you can see, he's just feeling a little bit worse for wear right now, so we're just going to have some mummy cuddles. I hope you don't get any blood on my new white jumper, baby. No. Oh, my sweet little boy. I love you. Thursday morning. I have become very bad again. It's like vlogmas 2018 all over again. I've become very bad at finishing the day off with you. It gets to a certain point where I just get tired um, and nothing exciting happens so I just stop vlogging. But this will be the third and final day of this <laughs> meant to this what was originally meant to be a one day daily vlog. So as I said it's now Thursday another beautiful sunny day. It's meant to get up to 22 two degrees today I think which is very exciting so I've popped on my and other stories dress that I showed you at the beginning of this video it is just so comfortable I love the length I decided to spend a little bit of time actually washing my hair this morning and styling it as you saw I used my Dyson air wrap with the bristle attachment which just gives a little bit of movement but it's not quite as done as using the barrel attachment so I love that it just gives a really nice kind of natural shape to the hair and then as you may have seen from the time lapse I also was summoned to the bathroom to help Charlie shave the back of his head. Obviously he's not able to go to the hairdressers at the moment either um, and his hair is actually quite thick so it does um, need cutting. He normally gets a cut like once every week or once every two weeks. Personally not a fan of him with a skin head but it's all he can do at the moment. So I did have a little um, neaten up of the areas at the back that he couldn't do himself. I'll show you what he looks like shortly. Not really sure what the plan is today, I mean what is the plan any day, but I have just filmed a video, I decided to do a stay at home favourites, which you'll be seeing tomorrow probably. 
So that was a nice, really chatty video that I just randomly decided to do because there's a few things that just didn't really fit in other videos. So I might just pop downstairs and import that footage. We don't want another scenario where I lose my footage. Oh my God, that was so annoying. Still never got that back. 200 pounds down the drain as well from all those companies that I downloaded for restoring memory cards, which didn't work. But anyway, yeah, so I've just polished off my morning smoothie. I'm gonna have a little bit of a post filming it tidy up and then probably just gonna go downstairs and kiss the dogs in the sunshine for a little bit. kitchen um, to make some pea and mint soup. I'm trying to use up everything that's in the freezer and we've got quite a few peas. If it looks like I've been crying it's because I just peeled an onion and I don't know where my onion goggles are so that is very annoying because my eyes are always super leaky when I do onions. I'm going to use the cookie dough recipe which is the one that's built into the summer mix because that means that I can do all the chopping, sauteing, heating etc in one bowl so practically no washing up to do. But you could do this recipe um, just by hand and obviously in a blender and then heating it up on the hob. But I'll quickly show you how I do this one. So it's 80 grams of onions and 30 grams of butter. Oh, that was 36. Never mind. We'll have a little bit extra buttery into the Thermomix. Chop it all up. I'm going to saute in here for three minutes, 120 degrees. I'm just following the instructions on the screen because it's part of the cookie dough recipe. Um, and it will just very slowly stir it as they saute. Okay, so now I'm going to add in 500 grams of frozen peas into my sauteed onion mixture half a teaspoon of salt and two to three pinches of black pepper and of course the Thermomix weighs everything as you go so you don't need to worry about using any weighing scales and now that is going to cook nice and slowly for 10 minutes at 100 degrees. So now we have a cooked and mushy pea uh, concoction. I'm going to add in, so this is just an extra ingredient because we had some in the fridge, a little bit of broccoli and then my mint leaves, freshly picked from the garden. I'm saving this little bit as a garnish. And one more blend. there we have it that took me a grand total of maybe five minutes actual working time 20 minutes 25 minutes or so in total and this is going to be absolutely delicious in our lovely sunny garden you sunbathing my chicken sweet baby It's now a few hours later. Had a very productive day actually, which is quite surprising because normally when the weather is glorious, I just want to lie outside and sunbathe and do not much else. But I took my laptop outside and positioned myself so that I could actually see it. Did some editing. I've edited my whole jewelry um, collection and declutter video, which is a long video. Managed to get it down to 27 minutes. It was about three hours worth of footage. So that was 
quite time consuming as you can imagine um but that's done it's exporting on my laptop as we speak i just had a call as well upstairs with um an agency that i work with in the us so that was productive and now i just thought i would end the vlog by showing you a little bit of blogger mail because i have actually had a few parcels or um deliveries arrive today and why are you jumping up on mommy's leg are you telling me that it's dinner time are you telling me that it's dinner time, my Puccini? So this is a gorgeous delivery, Ooh, a gorgeous delivery that I got from the Vichy team today. It is a beautiful bunch of flowers from Grace and Thorn. I think they look really lovely on this little table, so I might actually leave them there. This is to celebrate their new face mask. So this is the Mineral 89 Fortifying Instant Recovery Mask. It can be plumps and smooths with 24 hour hydration. Love the look of that. So you have to like mix the two together by the looks of it for a gorgeous, hydrating treatment so I'm going to use that today after a lovely day in the sun I will pop that on later okay I'll sit down here to show you the other little bits of blogger mail that I received today so I got a lovely Easter package from L'Occitane um, I might actually save this until Sunday because it is Easter on Sunday and then they popped in a refill bag so these use way less plastic than the actual tubs that um body care normally comes in this is their crunchy muesli scrub hmm oh maybe this isn't actually a refill this could be one that you yeah you can mix this with the almond shower oil which is one of the best smelling products you have ever experienced in your life and it turns it into a scrub so that's a really lovely idea I actually need to use that when I next shower because I noticed that I have a lot of dry skin at the moment. And then that almond oil shampoo and conditioner set. Again, this just smells so incredible. Baby! Also had a delivery from Galan today. I also popped on top of here products from another delivery which was from Cult Beauty. I'm I don't I'm not receiving very many deliveries at the moment. I think that just everyone has gone into the office yesterday. I I know a lot of PRs are going into the offices on Wednesday and doing their send outs, which is why I've received so many things today, which is a Thursday. I think that was the door. I'm just gonna go and check. Come on. Um can't remember where I was. Yeah, I think everyone's in the office on Wednesday, sending everything out, so that's why I've received a few things today, which is Thursday. So Cult Beauty sent over some things from Drunk Elephant. This is their Detangle and Heat Protect Spray. Didn't even realise that Cult Beauty did hair products, maybe that's what this is. Yes, TLC Happy Scalp Scrub. Ooh! Deodorant Cream, that's interesting. Then we have got a Glossing Shampoo for cleansing and balancing, cream body cleanser, marula cream hair conditioner. So they're obviously expanding their product range, I don't think they did any of these products before. So I'm excited to give those a try. And then this bag from Galan smells so good. <gasps> yes, oh my God, Charlie's gonna be so happy. In fact, I might save these as a treat and we'll use these again on Easter Sunday as a bit of a treat. These are their honey cataplasm masks. They're like the most bougie sheet masks in the world. They're so hydrating. We have got Super Aqua Emulsion Pre and Pro Aging Hydration. That sounds very interesting indeed. Is this a serum, I wonder? Okay, hey, baby boy. Ooh, what gorgeous packaging. I think it is a day and night serum for hydrating the skin. That looks absolutely gorgeous. I feel like my skin needs this right now. And then, ooh, Eau de Toilette Granada Salvia. I wonder if that's what they sprayed in this bag because it honestly smells Oh my goodness, that is spectacular. What gorgeous packaging. You've got this like honeycomb effect on the top there. Oh my God. That is one of the most elegant and feminine fragrances I think I have ever smelled. It almost smells like it's got grapefruit in there. Aqua Allegoria, an ode to nature created by Galan, running fleet-footedly through the gardens of Andalusia and sharing a crisp pomegranate. Ooh. Granada Salvia, the spirit of sparkling pomegranate with a note of sage. That's really interesting. I don't know if I've ever smelt a pomegranate. Let me go, baby. 
Look at my boy exploring. Don't think I've ever had a pomegranate fragrance before, but that is heavenly. I'm leaving that out to use on a daily basis. Night cream from their Abbe Royale range. That is, uh, abs this is one of the more kind of premium um, ranges from Galan. If you love honey and its soothing powers, then that is a gorgeous one. We have got the Nude Glow Powder. I love the Galan Terracotta range. I don't know if this is going to be a bronzer. Oh my gosh, it has got the most beautiful little bit of sheen to it. That is going to be so heavenly. And their terracotta range has the most gorgeous scent to the products as well. The reason I'm boxing them up again is because I need to finish what's in my current collection. What are you doing, my funny bunny? What are you doing, huh? You're so silly. You're such a silly little boy. You sniffing it too, my dickie. So, you may know, as I've spoken about these before, but Galan have the most incredible lipsticks. They're called the Rouge G range. So the lipsticks come in these little bullets and then you can buy the cases separately and you just clip the lipstick I don't know if my camera is focusing, but you can see the lipstick slots into the case. My goodness, this case is stunning. This is their Quartz Illusion case. And then they've also popped in this beautiful lipstick. This is 007, one of their beautiful nude shades. And then obviously you can pick and mix, pop your favorite lipstick shade in your favorite case. That is just the most beautiful combination. I've just taken the sticker off so you can see now. What's really cool is when you pull the lipstick open, the magnet whoop, is automatically released, turning your lipstick case into a mirror. Even the lipstick itself looks like a gem. It is the most beautiful shape. I'm going to pop that on tomorrow. I'm about to have my dinner so I don't need to put any lipstick on right now. So, so those are my deliveries for today. Come here you little monkey. By the smell of it, Charlie has almost finished preparing our dinner. We got another order of pasta evangelists a couple of days ago and we're having the carbonara of dreams tonight, which is one of my favorite recipes that pasta evangelists do. So I'm gonna go downstairs and enjoy that and end the vlog here, darlings. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me for a couple of days. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you very soon in the next one. Goodbye from me and my floofy little boy. Goodbye everybody, please subscribe to my mommy's channel because she takes so much care of me and she's been so busy making videos every single day and when she's editing she always lets me go on her lap and give her kisses so if you give this video a thumbs up then she'll be really happy. Okay, bye bye.